This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, August the 13th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. Satellite image this morning uh, doesn't show up the low clouds very well because they're close to the temperature of the ground. So the low stratus clouds that cover a good deal of Alabama are not showing up very well. On the surface map, uh, we're still under high pressure. <laughs> high pressure seems to have been the permanent feature for this summer. And we still have that little uh, upper low that is uh, swirling over the southern Louisiana and creating an absolute mess for those folks uh, down across the lower Mississippi River Valley, including parts of southern uh, Mississippi, as well as the southern half of Louisiana with some heavy rains. It looks like that system will gradually be dissipating. The Temperatures across central Alabama generally in the mid-70s this morning. And you can see from the surface observations, we do have some fog over the southeastern counties, uh, but it is cloudy over much of the area. Radar clear for Alabama this morning, and that's a rarity. We haven't seen that for the last week or so, but the radar is definitely not clear over southern half of Louisiana and parts of uh, southern Mississippi. And that rain is likely to continue. The watch warning map features the dark green areas that you see as uh, flash flood uh, watches. The uh, reddish area uh, embedded in southern Louisiana is flash flood warnings. Along the east coast, they have uh, some heat advisories. That's the orange. And then the reddish areas are heat warnings. And uh, in Montana, uh, by the way, that is uh, an amber alert up there um, for a missing uh, child. The QPF, boy, they don't need this in southern Louisiana, but the QPF looking at an, another 11 inches possible over the next five days, and it looks like much of the rain will be uh, along uh, that front that is uh, kind of draped over the area that will be washing out slowly but surely. And in addition to that, the uh, excessive rainfall outlook, of course, shows a very high risk uh, over southern Louisiana for day one, that's today, and then for day two, we have moderate risks over northern Louisiana into southeastern Missouri, as well as over central Louisiana. Storm Prediction Center, no outlooks for slight risk, just a marginal risk all the way from southern Indiana all the way up to Vermont for day one. And for day two, there's a marginal risk over southern New England. And then for day three, the marginal risk shifts back to the west over parts of Minnesota and the eastern part of the Dakotas. And the tropical Atlantic remains quiet. That certainly is good news. And the tropical Pacific, the, the uh, eastern Pacific, remains quiet with just one area of concern and uh, no chance that that's going to develop. All right, the 068 GFS model run. And there's that little disturbance uh, that has uh, been creating such a problem over the southeastern U.S., the southern part of the uh, U.S., uh, the southern Mississippi River Valley. And you can see on the surface map showing a good deal of precipitation over that area once again for today. For us, it looks like uh, probably the western half of the state will have a little bit more moisture. So showers could be a little bit more numerous there. That little weakness on Sunday is still visible uh, as it's gradually weakening and also uh, uh, getting picked up by that uh, little short wave trough moving across the central Mississippi River Valley. So that puts uh, the rain still over parts of Arkansas and Louisiana primarily. The feature is harder to find on Monday, so finally dissipating and uh, moving on out of the area. And then on Tuesday, we still have a little bit of a trough, and uh, so the, the frontal boundary is still there um, as it, it becomes parallel to the flow. So uh, not much change for us. It looks like uh, we'll just have scattered showers over our area uh, with uh, some thunderstorms along that uh, dissipating uh, frontal boundary. Wednesday, we see that the front is uh, kind of closer to us. So I think uh, Wednesday and into Thursday, we see the chances for precipitation go up just a little bit uh, for our area. So we'll see a few more showers as that frontal boundary will not get into the south or not get into Alabama, but it certainly will come close, and that should uh, help to improve our chances for showers. By Friday, we're beginning to see the ridge building back. As you can see, the little um, 588 contour bulging up across southern Illinois there, and uh, that continues to occur on Saturday. So Friday and Saturday, we'll see temperatures warming back up again. 
Uh, but once again, showers are a, a real good possibility over the area. Uh, again, they'll be spotty, so not everybody gets a shower. Looking out into voodoo country, the GFS is still uh, advertising the potential for a fairly strong uh, shortwave trough to come across the Mississippi River Valley around the 22nd of August. And once again, I think this could you know, signal one of the first fronts for the fall season. That will certainly be nice if we can get an air mass change, even for a few days, just a couple of days, that would be nice. Uh, we see another uh, shortwave trough uh, at 300 hours, and this is uh, the 25th of uh, August at midday. And then by the end of the period, we have a pattern that shows a trough established along the east coast and a ridge along the eastern slopes of the Rockies. And so that certainly uh, shows an absence of any extreme heat for us, us in central Alabama. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I expect to have the next one posted by uh, 7 a.m. or so on Sunday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed.